Hey you guys, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can unlock the debug utility on your PS Vito. This is basically what I just made a video about, where basically I went like this, and I showed you this. And you could access all stuff like delete all the save data, delete the patch files, etc. Another useful thing I found is actually it lets you view the information about it as well, so... You can see right there, it tells me it's title ID, PSC though, if it has a LW area, so if it's GLW, um, if it's upgradable, if it's save data, count off line, whatever. So yeah, that's pretty cool, so this is how you do it, okay? So, all you need to do, okay, is, uh, start FTP on your thing, with, with my IKEA shell. Alright, so start FTP on your computer. I'll go to the link in the description and download this debug utility zip file. However, I've already got this downloaded, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to grab it from here. Okay. And basically, you just want to then go 7-zip. Alright. 7-zip. Um, extract to debug utility slash. Go yes. Alright. And now we're going to open up debug utility. Alright, and you have two files, one called Vita LW, and you need to install this on your PS Vita via FTP. So open up the FTP, and then head over to UX0. Alright, and then just drag Vita LW dot VPK onto the system of your PS Vita. Click yes. Alright. You can do it with FileZilla, or you can do it for Windows, it's really up to you. Now back on your PS Vita, um, you then just want to head over, if this will ever get in focus, head over to UX0, and then go right down and install Vita RW. vdlw.vpk install it click yes to accept the warning alright, and just install that once crap once vdlw is installed, it will create a bubble that looks like this, okay, and you can just ignore that, the warning, and just open it, this basically will get you, um, if you get that error, it just freezes there, just oh, kick, kick that and press it again, but basically what you get to do is, it will get you modify your VS0 partition, which is a system partition, okay, and so you just want to start FTP again, alright, now back on your computer, in the folder, everything for VS0, you just want to open that, and there's one folder called VSH, Alright, now on here, you just want to head over to VS0, okay, and you just want to take this, and drag it into this. Alright, and it'll ask if you want to replace the file called shell.self, just hit yes. Alright, get that copy over. Now on your PS3 though, just reboot the system. Reboot the system, turn back on. Thank you. And if you did it right, you should not have a brick. <laughs> and you should just boot straight in. And now you should just be able to kick on an application and you should see the bug utility if you kick on it. You'll have all these options. Keep in mind check does not work. Um everything else does though, like you can you can go delete the save data, you can delete the patch, you can delete the ad count, whatever. Anyway, that's how you activate the debug utility, so yeah, thanks for watching.